is the first time really in about well, 30, over 30 years that, that really a large group of Tretyakov works have been seen together, and certainly the first time that such a representative sampling from amongst his earliest work to his last works have been seen in one, in one, in one exhibition. Tretyakov really was a South African at heart um, and, and was never really accepted in South Africa during his lifetime, certainly not by the South African art establishment. So um, it's, for us, it's a coming home for Tretyakov. Even though the critics um, had considerable problems with Tretyakov, finding his work garish, um, too bright, over the top, the famous word kitsch has been used, um, nevertheless, ordinary people in vast numbers um, purchased, purchased his work. Uh, three years ago, I met with uh, the fashion designer Marian Fassler. Marian then uh, initiated the talks with his eco. Um, that was quite a long process in the beginning, um, as Tretyakov for many years had not been welcome in the galleries. We had about three A4 pages typed up in an old typewriter of uh, people who had originally bought the works in the 1940s and 50s. So over time, this list of works grew and grew. And we have today here a show of um, at least 80 works. He's been a controversial artist for so many years. So many people have opinions about Tretyakov, but they've never seen an original Tretyakov. They've, never seen, they've certainly not seen Tretyakov's en masse. And when you look carefully at these works, you'll see that there's a lot of detail that, that isn't actually reproduced in the prints. The texture and the, and the way that the paint's applied. When he was reunited with my grandmother, he rolled out all the canvases and he said to her, you can choose one and it's for you. And she chose this painting and it hung in their dining room. So I've had many a family dinner around the table in front of Lenka. I always wondered why my grandmother chose this particular painting because Lenka was his muse. So in that time that they were separated, um, he painted her, we well, he met her in Java and painted her for two and a half years. And during that time, they had a relationship. But what I'm left with is there's two legacies. There's the legacy of the work, and then there's the legacy of the man. And here was a man who had a passion and a huge talent for painting and a dream to be world famous. I did question, I thought to myself, as the show was opening and as the book was being published, was it something that lived as incomplete for him in his career? Did he die wondering, you know, or having felt incomplete that he never had the recognition of the arts establishment? And really, I don't think so.